Ah, here we go. You know the drill. Back on the road. there. Gotta get my steps in, so I walked it. The tram was right there, and I just kept on walking. Because I'm gonna be on my butt a lot today. Here's this. Need some Skyline Chili or some Angles gear. I'll be dropping mine. short and sweet. Hurts. The only one that's got people waiting. Back to the rental counter. My car was not there. All right, we have a car, one that unlocked, which is handy, don't you think? I don't know where I'm gonna put that. All right. Ooh, Ooh eighth floor. Let's do it and let's uh, eat. It's only like six something. As you can see though, the sun has fallen. But let us step out. Look, skateboarders. Look, Uncle Eddie's seafood restaurant. Because there's the pier. And uh, can you hear it? Absolutely, the ocean. Hmm, I wonder if Uncle Eddie's is open. It looks like my kind of joint. Eight floor. Oh. Virginia Beach, welcome. So I've chosen to walk down to Ocean Eddy Seafood Restaurant, which I saw online before I came down here. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Well, I just asked a couple that came off of the pier how the food was, but they didn't eat. They just took a picture. They're closed for the season, of course. The pier, but the restaurant's open, so let's do it. I do not need a gift shop, t-shirts, beach supplies, homemade fudge, but I do need food. All right, Ocean Eddie's. Met a guy sitting at the bar. <laughs> That's how it always happens, right? You sit at the bar, you meet somebody, you talk. His name is Marco, nice guy. He's got a lot going on in his life, all right. Uh, he also said the restaurant at the hotel is actually pretty good, so we'll eat there at some point. <sighs> Blackened Gruber tacos and some hush puppies just to try them. They're pretty good. They're like a sweet cream butter that they served them with instead of cocktail sauce, stuff like that. An interesting thing. Okay, back to the room. I gotta get the hay because I gotta get up early, so I don't know. I mean, you know, you know how that is. I always say. I'm gonna go to bed early and then I never, ever do. Marco did say that uh, you can see dolphins out here in the morning 
and that's actually on the menu or the breakfast menu for the restaurant hotel hotel restaurant so maybe that'll be fun if it's uh, light when I get up it might still be dark when I get up That's just so I don't forget. <laughs> All right, time we go. Here we are. <laughs> they aren't kidding about it. And I gotta wear these again. Up and down the stairs about three times already, and it's just after nine. Oh no, I can't get in. Okay, let's do a little tour of the room. Front bathroom, and I've decided to make this my bathroom because it's got the big stand up -y shower. Dun dun dun! I assume that's a pull out. Look, that's a pretty big refrigerator right there. Oh man, I left my glass of water out all day. Well, that was dumb. <sighs> Balcony, beach, ocean. There's a tanker or something out there that you can't see with its lights on. I can't block the light enough. You can't see it. Um, okay, yeah, coffee maker that I'll never use. And then bedroom and another, hi. Bathroom, here, with big window. Uh, there you go, there's the tour. Some people up on the balcony probably watching me. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, 8.30, something like that. Decided to get some walking in. Had a perfectly large, uh, not too bad dinner with some colleagues. But uh, yeah, I need to walk some of it off. There's somebody out on the sand. I haven't done that yet. It is dark and, uh, and it is chilly. Here, let me flip the camera. Not a lot of people out walking past about six. Yeah, <laughs> dark. But I'm on the beach, so it's all good with me. You can't see a thing, can you? You can hear it though. gotten to the Surf and Rescue Museum in the kind of main entrance point of Virginia Beach here, it looks like. I have no idea. So, cool. Just wanted you to see it. Ooh, a bicyclist. And what have we here? We have a statue. We have a bunch of statues. says the Norwegian lady. Ah, oh, so that's why the Norwegian flag is here. Oh, isn't this interesting? And I can't really read it because it's nighttime and it's dark. A6 intruder. More veteran statues. 
I'll have to read it. But I'm not going to worry well with it. No climbing on the stretches. Uh, this is awesome, actually. Super cool. Alright, let's get out and walk back down the strip. Let's see what's like out here. Well, this is a Gatlinburg thing. And what do you know? There's one here in Virginia Beach. I'll send a picture to Brian. When I got here last night, I'm like, hey, Mexican restaurant. Let's get Mexican. Oh, wait. That's not even close to the This is what's going on. <laughs> it is off season, so nothing's going on. I'm almost back. There's a place where I had dinner last night. Woo! Decided to head back towards the beach, and it's getting a little windy. There's ocean any seafood, so I don't know why I planted it out again. But there it is, so I'm obviously quite close to my hotel. I wonder how my favorite bartender's doing. I mean, there was one bartender I sat at the bar last night, so of course she's my favorite, because that's the only time I've been here. <laughs> uh, she was actually kind of funny. You can just see that light out there. That is some tanker or something. The camera doesn't do it justice. I don't think Zoom is going to do it justice either. I lost it. No, Zoom is not going to do it justice. It's cool though. Old school. These are the mysterious stairs up to the ninth floor. I'm curious about that. All right, I'm running late. Ah, oh, the sights of the south. Something you don't see too often up north anymore. Yes, a 7-Eleven. Waiting to get let in. This is like a patio at one point? Who knows? Whew! Well, it's a little after two. I'm gonna get out of this hospital. Um, it's raining pretty well. And on the way to the car, I said to myself, well, actually I said it out loud because I do tend to talk to myself out loud even when I'm not filming like this. Uh, but I have a raincoat in my bag, on my backpack. On my back. You know what I mean. Yeah, I got wet. Oh, well. All right, I'm going to go. And uh, then I'm going to meet some folks for dinner tonight. Happy Sunday, y'all. Look, there's a statue. Uh, I've noticed several statues, actually, as I'm driving. Um, down Atlantic Avenue. Right all the way down, up, I should say, to 37th Street. Some major waves. we got a pretty good storm going on. Uh, it's windy. As you can hear, I think, as we're driving. But there is a Neptune Park up here. With a, uh, and I knew that there was a Neptune Park with a statue of Neptune. And I didn't know until I drove by it that it's huge. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take a break from filming. And then when I get to that, I'm going to show you. There was another statue, uh, the Neptune statue right up here. This is kind of fun. Doughboys with the VW bus sticking out of them. We're almost there. Well, I'm not going to be able to stop because there's cars, but here he is. He's big. He's huge. Look how big that guy is. Can you tell? Oh. I really need to leave to meet my teammates for dinner. It's actually somebody's birthday, but I kind of can't stop staring at the ocean.
know if this is something. I just got caught in the drawbridge. It's hard to see because of the weather, but the drawbridge is about to open. And so I must stop. Yep. Looks like I'm kind of out of luck for a little bit. Pretty cool though. I still don't see the ship that's going to come through. I'm sure we will in a minute. There we go. It's a barge. Well, we'll end our evening. Um, I got the TV on, watching the second half of the Super Bowl. Much like we have started and ended every other evening. Which is why I'm looking out on the ocean. Still stormy. Still loud. Still wonderful. <laughs>